Local News 8 in the morning continues. Welcome back. It is now 657. Here are your three things to know this morning. Number one, a school threat was discovered under a desk written in pencil at Ryrie Junior Senior High School. Superintendent Jeffrey S. Gee posted on social media to alert parents. Multiple officers from Bonneville and Jefferson County will be in Ryrie schools on March 8th. Number two, another cache of items was seized from the family home of Brian Koberger. Knives, a cell phone, black gloves, black masks, laptops, dark colored clothing and shoes were found. Koberger faces four counts of first degree murder and the stabbing deaths of four University of Idaho students. And number three, a judge decides to separate the trials of Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell after new evidence was submitted by the defense. Lori will be moving forward with her trial April 3rd in Ada, in Ada County. Chad Daybell's trial date will be set later. You can find these stories and more at localnews8.com and the Local News 8 app. All right, let's check back in on the weather with Jeff. Misty morning, you can see our iconic water tower and the river there. Things in Idaho Falls with some light freezing precip. Here's a live look at Buffalo Way. They're next to Cuddy's and uh, my new complex there at the Gables and across from Albertsons. Uh, and and it's, you know, there's a great place over here in Jackson to see. It's a community bulletin board over there in front of uh, Albertsons. You drive by there and find out what's going on. Somebody take a picture of it and send it, send it to me. I want to go to comedy night. Uh, we're going to see showers pushing through here. This is no laughing matter. It could be a really treacherous travel this morning. Make sure you check 511.idaho.gov before you head out anytime this weekend with cold Cold conditions, even when it's not snowing, roads may be shut down, maybe. So with delays in your future, I'm just going to go ahead and predict that. I'm no mental giant and I do not have mental leprosy, but with winds pushing and these snows blowing all the way through the weekend, tomorrow is just going to be a bust. And then we get more of it on into Sunday and lingering into Monday. So with that being said, here are the accumulations that we're looking at right now. I'll have more for you at noon today on Local News 8, two to four inches, maybe even more down around the Bear River Range in Montpelier and Burn. Bless your hearts. And you know, you you can hear me on QP 99 down there on 95.7 now. So Emma and Dylan will have the news for you in Montpelier. And on 99.1 and 99.5 in Jackson 1071, it will be 22 degrees for the next couple of days. Ultra cold again tonight. Freezing for the afternoon in Pocatello around the Dick Sporting Goods Roundabout. It is slushy. 13 tonight. What are we having for lunch today? That's what I'm concerned about. Will there be soup involved? It'll be 26 in Idaho <laughs> Falls. Down to five tonight. Look out for the critters. All right, we'll see you at noon.